What is going to rise today? We are reviewing the Ring of Honor Jazzwares Vault exclusive 1 of 5,000 Brian Danielson figure. Now, it's interesting. I don't even know really what to call this. Do you call this an AEW Unrivaled figure, or do you just call it a Ring of Honor Unrivaled figure? We did get this from the Jazzwares Vault, and this does go for order today, actually. So be on the lookout, Jazzwares Vault. You are going to be able to order this. I don't know if this figure is going to be up at the time of recording this. It should go up within an hour or so or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But I do want to give a huge shout-out to Jazzwares and the Jazzwares Vault for making this review possible. Seeing this figure our way. We do have the Ring of Honor logo across the top here. This is a cover sleeve, so this is not the actual box itself. However, it is a little slip cover that you can remove, but the artwork on here is very impressive. I don't know exactly who did it. I don't know if it's... I don't think it's Shamburger, but it could be. I'm not entirely sure. Brian Danielson across the bottom. You got the Jazzwares Vault sticker over there. On the side, we do get Ring of Honor. You got Danielson, the name, number one, series one on there. And on the back, it does have Ring of Honor, and then it has the same artwork, but it's kind of hidden, and then it says Brian Danielson. But you can also slip Flip the cover off, which we were talking about, and that will reveal the figure inside of the slip cover. You can see some of the accessories. You can see the Jazzwares Vault logo and sticker here, one of 5,000, and it's got his robe on there, the American Dragon. Comes with a microphone, Ring of Honor, Brian Danielson. And then same thing as the other slip cover, really. It's got his name and everything. And on the back, it's the same deal. So no, like, bio info or anything like that. Would have been cool to get a story of Brian Danielson on the back, but that's pretty cool. And then when he arrives at your door, you will get this really cool shipper box. It says Ring of Honor Jazzwares and then it's got Brian Danielson on there. A lot of the same artwork and stuff. So you do get a shipper box, then you get the box with the slip cover, and then you reveal the slip cover and you do have the figure underneath. But with all that being said, man, let's crack Brian Danielson out of his packaging, find out what he's all about, and see how our Ring of Honor action figure feels in hand. So here is the American Dragon out of the packaging, man. Really enjoying what I'm seeing right now. I like this figure a lot. And again, it really reminds me of that WWE Elite Fan Central figure from a long time ago, if you guys remember that figure, which is a very good figure in its own right. But I think something that a lot of companies struggle with with Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson is that they never can quite get his proportions right, it seems. But I am excited for this figure. I'm intrigued with it. I think it looks fantastic. I can't wait to dive into it with you. Always enjoyed this man's work. I like a lot of the details here. And we're going to, of course, unpack everything. Thing, man. But again, this is going to be available today on Jazzwares Vault. Now, I don't know how fast it's going to go. I don't know if it's going to sell out or if it's going to be available. So go over there and check, man. Go over there and check if you are interested in this figure whatsoever. If you just see my video, I mean, I guess you wouldn't be hearing this, but at least go check. If you're interested, at least go check on Jazzwares Vault and see what's up. And they also have other collectibles as well. But let's get into the accessories of the figure and then we'll dive into Brian Danielson himself. So getting into Brian Danielson's accessories, we do get a pretty decent amount right here. I would compare it to a really good Elite figure or, I mean, it's bordering on Ultimate Edition. If, if he had uh, like maybe one extra head and a title belt or something, man, I mean, this would be right up there with it. But the standout in here has got to be this cloth robe, and it almost has this like silk material. This maybe I don't think this is legitimate silk. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's like a faux silk regardless. The inner lining with this silver gray color, and then on the outside has this bright red, and then you have the American Dragon logo. I want to say this is the exact logo, but I could be wrong about that, but it looks pretty accurate to me. Got the world with the dragon, the American flag, and the wings. Very sweet sweet detail. I like this this robe a lot. I think it looks really, really good. Great job by everybody over there. And then on the sleeves, you even have American Dragon, so that's cool. And I don't know if it's supposed to be American on this side and then Dragon over here, or if it is supposed to be American. Like, I'm pretty, I'm sure it's accurate, but I don't know personally, so I don't want to sit here and say that. But it looks good, and it feels good in hand, so if it's on the wrong sleeve, that sucks, but I'm sure it's accurate. Nonetheless, this jacket does look damn good. I like this a lot. This almost makes it worth the purchase for me. And then getting into the head sculpts, we do have this shaved head version of Brian Danielson, and it it looks pretty good for the most part. I'd say that it does look like a young Brian Danielson. I feel like my eyes may have gotten a little bit misprinted, but you can only tell if you look up this way. It doesn't look this the, that bad this way, so I don't I don't really have like an issue with that because it's pretty. It, I got I got blessed that it didn't print too low or too high. And then we have the other head sculpt. Now this one's printed a whole lot more. You have the messy long haired haircut with the beard, kind of a tail of two different eras right here. But both of these look good. I like the sculpts of them. I think the likeness is good. I fear they may be a little bit oversized, which was kind of the case with this other figure, his unmatched figure, so we'll have to see about that. I do want to do a torso swap as well when we get it into the comparison shot. We'll do a torso swap and look at it. But for the most part, I like the likeness. I don't know why this is giving me like Dave Grohl or I don't know. That's the, that's what I think of when I look at this head sculpt. I think of Dave Grohl. Pretty good right there. And outside of that, we do get a Ring of Honor microphone. You have the yellow tag with the red r lettering, and I don't know if that's accurate or not. I want to say it is, but you do have the classic Ring of Honor mic right here, which looks good. Pretty cool flagged mic. Never interchangeable hand 
hands, you do get the mic holding or weapon wielding grapple style hands. And then you get the fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. All right, man, at the top of the head sculpt, we do have the Brian Danielson shaved head head sculpt. I think I prefer the longer hair. I don't know. They both look pretty good for the most part, I'd say. But going down into the torso, this is my biggest issue with Brian Danielson figures from AEW. I just think his torso is too big. I think this would work on a, uh, I don't know, a Wardlow or something, you know? I think his torso is just too big. I think that the scaling is much better on the MJF torso, which we'll take a look at when we get into the comparison shot. But he does have white wrist tape, which is good. And then he does have his maroon trunks, which he is obviously known for. I'd say probably the most notorious attire for Brian Danielson or Daniel Bryan. He's always been a maroon guy and a red guy. And then going down into the thighs, you got some nice thighs there. He's got the red knee pads. And I like this knee pad mold. I like the openness of them. I just always have liked these. I think they're really good. He's got the red knee tape underneath. And then he does have these solid red kick pads. But he does have the details in the shoes here, which I love. And you even have the kick pad strap. God in heaven, I knocked over my background. Ugh, I don't care, I'm finishing. So there's the details on the shoes, and you have the kick pad straps and everything. I love this, man. I think that these shoes, the details on the shoes just really complete it, in my opinion. But most like a lot of AEW Jazzwares figures, he can pose around for the most part. I mean, the ab crunch is actually surprisingly good for this style torso. But yeah, I just think the torso's too damn big, man. It's too big. But everything else, you get standard AEW articulation. Double jointed arms, bicep swivel, very, very clean. Thigh swivel, like very good articulation on this guy. You're going to be able to pose him around pretty damn good. Let's bring in some other Brian Danielsons and get into some figure comparisons here. So for your first Brian Danielson figure comparison, here is the Unmatched Series 5 and this does have an MJF torso on there. And Just look at how much better he scales. He's not as tall. I think it's a more realistic look for him. It kind of does show how big the head sculpt is. I think the head sculpt doesn't need to be shrunken down, but the likeness is there, which is good. But let's just pop this off and let's see. Now, I mean, now you could have a Brian Danielson, you know, modern in this classic gear which also would look pretty good. So there's that right there. And then if you wanted to pop this head off and then pop on, I don't know, let's do the long-haired head sculpt and put the long-haired head sculpt or the Dave Grohl head sculpt on here. And then you could put that there. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. I don't hate that whatsoever, man. And then if you guys wanted to see what the shaved head sculpt looks like, there you go. Look at that right there. Yeah, now he's about to eat somebody's lunch. I like that, dude. Yeah, that looks pretty damn good. But let's now, I'm gonna put everything back together and look at some other comparisons. But yeah, man, this is the torso to go with. And then for another Ring of Honor figure comparison, here's our Ring of Honor CM Punk up next to the Ring of Honor Brian Danielson. I still need to do reviews of the Kenny Omega and the Claudio. And then we do have the Bucks as well that we need to get into. But let's get into some Daniel Bryan figure comparisons. So for your Daniel Bryan figure comparisons, here's that fan central figure that I was talking about with a different head sculpt. I think that's the Elite 73 head sculpt. And then you have the Elite 19 Daniel Bryan, I think it is over here. And you can just kind of see the progressions that have been made and everything. But this figure is definitely bigger than this figure. I mean, the torso is significant bigger but then if you wanted to come in and do like a swap here just to showcase the difference if you do put that MJF torso in there I think the scale is going to be a lot better here and it's still I mean to be fair this works better for me because I've always said the Mattel makes made him way too small I mean this guy should have had a Terry Funk torso or something else man they always Mattel always made Daniel Bryan way too small so I think this is a much better Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson scale wise for your wrestling figure collections and then I do have this custom Ring of Honor champion ship. This does not come with the, the figure itself, but I did want to see what this Ring of Honor title from my man Dan Turnquist would look like on this figure, and that looks pretty damn good, man. You know, you could wrap it up there and uh, wrap it around the waist. Put this on the figure and see what this looks like. Look at that right there. They can come out here and beat the hell out of people. Ring of Honor champion Brian Danielson. Looking pretty good. But I think that about wraps up our Ring of Honor Unrivaled 1 of 5,000 Jazzwares Vault exclusive Brian Danielson figure. I like this figure, man. I like this figure. Now, it does go into the... I think what goes into it the most, man, is just the torso choice that they give Brian Danielson. I think that the MJF torso fits him much better. I think that this torso might could work for some other people. I just don't think Brian Danielson is that guy. But I do like this figure. I love the cloth robe. I love the packaging and the presentation of the figure is really nice. I think that AEW and Jazzwares does a fantastic job in their presentation of these figures, especially when it comes to packaging and things of that nature. I think the head sculpts do a pretty good job of capturing a young Brian Danielson. But I think the torso is really my biggest gripe. I think this is a good era of Brian Danielson. And of course, this Ring of Honor championship doesn't come with the figure. I know that. But putting the Ring of Honor title on here and just seeing him in the arena and everything, man, looks 
looks so good. It looks so good, and Jazzwares figures are very poseable, right? So this figure feels really good in hand. I like the formula outside of the torso. The head sculpts are good enough for me. The cloth robe is damn good, man. Even if you bought the cloth robe and put it on a different figure or what have you, it, it's a beautiful piece. And then a mint on card, the figure looks beautiful too, if you're going to keep it mint on card. But I like to open my figures up. I do have a mint on card collection, but opening them up and posing them around is my favorite. Feeling them in hand, seeing what they're all about. But yeah, man, I think the only thing docking these Brian Danielson figures is the torso. And just, I think that scaling in terms of the AEW figure, some scales are perfect and then some scales are too big. So I think my favorite part of this figure is the shoes. I love that they have the shoes correct. I think that's so beautiful. Like the, uh, the different tone of red, you have the kick pad strap going across and then you have the logos in there in white. I don't know, that detail is always missed on a lot of figures across all different companies. So I think that's an extra step that really adds to it for me personally. But it may just be because I like sneakers and shoes and details and I've always, you know, been obsessed with that kind of thing. So I don't know. But at the end of the day, I like this figure. And if you guys want to grab it, you can go over to Jazzwares Vault and pick this figure up. And again, a huge shout out to those guys for making this review possible. But this Brian Danielson figure is an approval for me. I think if you're going to, you're going to leave it mental card, the torso doesn't matter. But if you're going to open it up, you could do some surgery and fix it up how you like because they make it so easy. So there's that. But I still don't know what to call these. Ring of Honor Unrivaled or just Ring of Honor Brian Danielson. I don't know. It is an unrivaled style figure though. I don't know. Nonetheless, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on this figure down below. You're going to be skipping. You're going to be buying. I'd like to know all those things. Is this line a total skip? Are you trying to check it out through the reviews? Let me know all those things down below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Subscribe to the channel. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do on a monthly basis. You guys are incredible. But I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.